Howdy folks, Richie Johnson here and welcome to World of Tanks with me, Richie Johnson. New update is soon coming out, but first of course they have released a test server where everyone can jump around in tier 10, tier 9 tanks. But hey, let's start from the bottom. New German TD line is the main fe feature. It goes on the Marta 38T. Actually it's a rebalanced Marta 2 and then it comes to Marta 38T and up to the... Yeah, I don't know the name. <laughs> the... Oh, it's actually on an AA tank. Or AA carry, what's... Yeah, let's say the AA, AA flag tank. The flag tank. And after it comes the NAS horn and then it comes something... 5. <laughs> Same, but 5. A uh, Sturer e Emil, Sturer e Emil, something like that. Yeah, I think the name is. Then you have the Ram Borsig Waffenträger, the Waffenträger auf Panzerwehr 4, Waffenträger auf I100. So yeah, the spaceship. There you can uh, now also I noticed get the Ferdinand from the Tiger P and uh, and our uh, heads of MRT and artillery from the MR2 maybe you could uh, do that artillery from the MR2 before but yeah now I notice it so yeah they started with the MR38T Sk skip the rebalanced MR2 MR38T it's a tier 4 tank and I noticed one th special thing that it is like every tank uh, all the TDs are very weak in armor and everyone has like a gun that is one or two tiers higher than the tank. Like this, the Marta 34T is a uh, tier 4 and its top gun is a uh, tier 5, 75mm pack L46. It's two uh, guns here but uh, this, one, this one is like an upgrade. Fi uh, it uh, fires a little bit faster and uh, better aim and so on. Yeah, just skip through all the tanks first. And then you have the flag tank, because this was actually a uh, AA gun. This is the deadly 88 mm flag tank, flag, flag gun that uh, used to ki kill every vehicle out there. And these walls that you can call them, they uh, would uh, flip down, and they would like. Uh, evolved <laughs> the tank and you could stand on these things so they had a bigger work area therefore also many crews two gunners two loaders so yeah after the flag tank you have the NAS horn it's like a Hummel but a TD yeah I uh, played with it a lot because I love the NAS horn the NAS horn has a tier 8 the long 88 from the Tiger, to, uh, tiger tank on a tier 6 tank yeah, list of wolf and Swedish flag, of course. So yeah, a Hummel TD. After the TD Hummel, you have the Studer Emil, uh, which is a little bit more uh, meatier. NAS, it's like NAS horn, but a little bit more meat uh, on it. But this one has a tier 9, like the tier 6 had a tier 8, tier 7 has a tier 9. It's the 128 centimeter canone. Something like Great gun, lots of damage on a tier 7 tank. And uh, yeah, after the Meteor Hummel, we have the. I don't know what RHM, REM, REM something, Borsig Waffenträger. Uh, turret moves 360 degrees, TD. Very very low profiles, very stealthy, th sneaky, but yeah, hull armor 2010-10. So uh, yeah, the new TDs are like papers. They are French tanks, but TDs. It has two tier 10 guns to choose between 128, 115, and uh, it's very agile. This tank. It's ca it feels a little bit slow due to it only has a tier 5 207 horsepower engine. I don't know why this tier 8 tank has a tier 5 engine. Yeah, set it on paper maybe, but yeah, and then, then it shouldn't be on a tier 8. It's probably the, the gun that lifts it up. 
After the Borsig Waffenträger, we have the Waffenträger aus Panzer IV. It's a Waffenträger on a Panzer IV chassis. It has a uh, Tier 5 Maybach, f Maybach f 400 horsepower engine with a deadly Tier 10. Yeah, the, this tank has four Tier 10 guns, and uh, the above the two above us, with twel the 12.8 and 15 centimeters, they are like upgraded versions. So uh, you can see 560 average damage. This one has 490 penetration, 276, 246, so 15, 35, 75, 75. Yeah, they are like upgraded versions. Let's see how they look. That's the upgraded 128, extremely long. And <laughs> uh, then here's the standard. Yeah, it's a little bit long. It feels like just. That's what she, she said. Yeah, after the Waffenträger of Panzer IV, we have the Waffenträger of E100. It's the same tank but on a E100 chassis. This one has a 128mm, 150mm. Uh, let's see, I believe. Yeah, same gun, different tanks. Spaceship. But this one actually has better armor, 200, 120, 150, and one more in the rear than in the side. But still, that's the hull, the turret, it's paper all around. I noticed one thing, and it is that when you're aiming down with a gun, downwards, these, this part goes up, and I noticed that, uh, you can see this edge here, the bolt and that thing, it goes through the plate a little bit, so uh, they have maybe have to fix that if someone knowledge it. Yeah, and you can see I played the uh, Waff Waffenträger e Waffle Trigger, that's how we call it, the Waffle Trigger of E100 a little bit. But yeah, Mada 38T, and let's f look at the tech tree just standardish, uh, comparing the Mada 38T with uh, a different tank of its tier, let's it's tier 4T. Where is TD? The SU-85B, and we can take the British Alecto. Let's do it like this one. Right, uh, same hit points all around, nearly. It, Russians have a little bit less. No, ten hit points. It isn't even one HD shot. Uh, engine power, win for the Germans. Speed limit traverse, Germans. Yeah, speed limit Alecto. Yeah, why not? I mean, it weighs 8 tons. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, power to weight ratio, win for the Electo. But the uh, traverse speed is win for the Germans. And the uh, armor, and we can say armor, penetration, and damage, German, German, German. Uh, well, the damage is the same for German and uh, Russian, but penetration makes yeah I would say if you have better penetration and same damage you will do more damage due to you will penetrate more uh, gun traverse speed Russian and British are out numbering or I can say out running the Germans with a gun traverse well you don't have the big arc like yeah the FV 21B183. It can turn the turret a little bit. Uh, 45 degrees. What is it? 70, 70 degrees. Something like that. View range. Yeah, a little bit downside to the 30T. I mean, 390. That's nearly 400. That's what tier 9, 8, and 10 like have. So yeah, the Russian and British have the advantage there. Signal range, perfectly. It's extremely good for the Germans. Going into the next tank, the flag tank. Can uh, just take one tank. Yeah, we go for Americans this time. Tier 5, T49, let's go for the Wolverine. It's more famous. Hit points, engine power, speed limit, traverse. I mean, the flag tank is so OP when it comes to speed and maneuverability. It's incredible. 
It's like a little T-50-2 tank nearly, but three times the size maybe. <laughs> yeah, hull armor, yeah, I said it's shit. Because the ta that tank wasn't actually made to kill tanks, it was made to kill aircrafts because, uh, and long distance shooting maybe. It will should roll out, deploy the space the plates uh, around and then just bomb the shit out of enemy planes. Because it's a flak gun, so yeah, it's anti-air. Uh, standard shell damage, standard shell penetration, really, 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 really good for the Germans due to it's a tier A tank. What does the Wolverine have? It has a tier 6 tank, 75 millimeters, yeah. The Germans, the flak bus, without uh, the downside on the armor, it is really good. Then we come to the famous NAS horn. Now maybe some of you don't know it's famous, but <laughs> NAS horn. Uh, let's see, we can take the Shine, though they don't have anyone. <laughs> we can take the all uh, V39. NAS horn. Standard, dam standard hit point 600, 610. Same, same. Weight uh, is the same. Engine, speed, and traverse. Uh, Everything for the French except the Traverse uh, Nason is very very agile uh, Armor, it's getting better but it's not TD like It's more still artillery thin, paper thin But here it comes the gun again 180 to 300, 152 to 254 That's that's too good for its tier I mean you can penetrate every tank uh, You can even penetrate a uh, 85, uh, what is the 82, 85, or something like that. The uh, British 200mm TDs. With standard shell penetration. <laughs> uh, rate of fire is qu quite slow, but yeah, it has so high, uh, high uh, damage. Gun traverse, same. View range, really good. Signal range, extremely good. Uh, radio for the Germans is really, really good. After Nason comes the Meteor Hummel. We can actually we can do it like this one. Where is the Hummel? There it is. Let's compare the Hummel and the <laughs> Nas Horn. Yeah, 300-600 TD Hummel, uh, TD artillery. The weight nearly the same. Same engine power, speed limit, traverse is yeah, traverse is buff to the TD. But yeah, the whole armor it's the same. <laughs> Uh, view range better for TD, radio range is better for artillery. So and uh, the whole yeah, it's based on the same chassis. Like I said, the designated the horn is uh, on the produced on the same chassis as the Hummel heavy is uh, is self propelled gun. The vehicle first saw combat uh, yeah, it's a Hummel. It's a Hummel, T D Hummel. Uh, let's go for British tier seven we have the 8015, 87 I mean hit points really low for the Germans and the engine power is also quite low it uh, should be a little bit high maybe speed limit traverse average would I believe, yeah the British don't have any speed no traverse until you get up to the FV 215B183 that's a little bit more agile than the other tanks. When it comes to Alec though, then it just stops. <laughs> the AT2 and uh, the rest until the 183 is just sluggish as hell. Armor, still artillery, thin armor, standard shell, damage and penetration. Here you can see 613 damage and 183, 89 millimeters. I mean, holy shit, look at that. That is just e extraordinary. Rate of fire, four and a half rounds per minute. Gun traverse, same view range, 400 meters, and signal range, 700. I mean, holy shit. Uh, see if the. Yeah, Sturer, Sturer Emil, German for stubborn ammo. Uh, due to fire, uh, frequent breakdowns, so uh, not a very reliable tank, maybe. Yeah, paper thin artillery with really good tank killer guns. Then we come up to the tier eight, and we can compare it to uh, let's compare it to the Jagdpanzer two. 
uh, the tanks due to we have two tanks there. Three actually. Okay, may maybe the third one also. There you go, happy now. <laughs> Hit points is the lowest for the newest tank and highest for the oldest. The Fernand is the oldest one, then Jung Panther 2 and the Waffenträger. The Waffenträger doesn't weigh anything compared to the other two and it doesn't have any horsepower at all. Speed limit is nearly the same as the Ferdinand, just 5 km an hour faster. But the traverse speed is so much higher, so it doesn't matter if it has a little bit lower. You will uh, accelerate so much faster so that it w will not uh, gain you nearly. Hull armor 2010-8. I mean, holy shit! That's you can throw a rock at it and it will buckle the plates and something like that. But look at that gun: 563 to 938. That's better than the. Ferdinand's tier 9 gun. I mean, the the standard shell damage from the Ferdinand, that's the 88mm, I believe. And the standard shell damage for the uh, Waffenträger, that's probably the 128mm. And look at that penetration. That penetration is better than the uh, Jag Panther 2 with more than 10mm. Rate of fire only three. Yeah, well you're doing doing nearly 1,000 HP. Say like 700, 750 and something like that. HP around per shot. So yeah, 2,300 in the end maybe if you go up and down a little bit. Gun traverse speed. Yeah, you have a turret on this tank. So uh, shouldn't it say turret traverse speed maybe? Turret This one has a turret, I actually believe. I swear to God, it does have a turret. I played with it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, rate of fire, gun traverse 18. Uh, 400, 700. Yeah, it's. They are extremely good. The view range of the new TDs, they are really good. So, th I'll actually th say that's out uh, taking that's like equally to mm, good as the armor is bad it has so little armor that the light tanks from tier 2 will penetrate it even the light light tractor will, will penetrate it in the ass i mean 8 millimeters this one does standard shell penetration 30 to 50 millimeters and uh, the Waffenträger ha has hull armor 8 millimeters. <laughs> In the front, the LOL tractor will penetrate it. <laughs> so you can take a LOL tractor in your platoon with a uh, Tiger 2 and meet face an enemy Waffenträger, and the LOL tractor will can't kill it. <laughs> uh, which sure, it will take a time due to the low uh, HP, the damage that does it does. Yeah, in the end, it <laughs> lol tractor might win it. Yeah, after Waffenträger, we have uh, Waffenträger. We have the Waffenträger of Panzer IV, and uh, let's compare it to uh, the Americans the T30, because that's a turret tank. T did also. Hit points. Yeah, Americans a little bit more meteor. More uh, weighs a lot more double uh, engine power. Slower traverse and speed limit. Well, yeah, it's a Panzer IV chassis with a 400 engine, and just 37 ton, 30, 27. I mean, and a half tons of that. Hull armor 803020. No armors whatsoever. Still, well, as I said, but yeah, look at that gun and that penetration. Yeah, and that's the stand gun. When you get it up to the um, upgraded versions, yeah, you will kick ass. <laughs> I mean, just a little Panzer IV chassis tank, the size of a Panzer IV. It may be small. It doesn't go around. Do 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 do. And you roll out with T30. Oh, I'm gonna slaughter one. And then you Panzer IV aims at you, shoots, and you're like, Oh my God! And just run for cover. <laughs> Five rounds per minute, nearly the same. No, it's not the same. It the T T thirty five is two shots more. That's around six hundred to eight hundred. 
Gun traver turret traverse, gun tra uh, same view range, <laughs> much better on the Waffen Tracker, signal range also. So yeah, still view and signal range for the Germans. Hooray, motherfuckers. Here comes the spaceship. And Germ uh, let's yeah, let's go for the Americans. Due to turret turret TDs. We can go for the French uh, heavy also. The MX fifty B due to its also has an auto loader or drum loader as you can call it. 50B, 2100, Waffenträger, 2200, T1, yeah, it's E4, 2000. Weighs 101 tons, well it's based on a E100 chassis so you can uh, rely on that it will be heavy. 1200 hit points, no, horsepower, <laughs> sorry, uh, speed limit, traverse speed, yeah, really good, yeah, the traverse speed could be a little bit higher. But uh, still, it's very agile. But here comes the hull armor: 200, 120, 150. Yeah, as I said, it's before it's thicker in the ass than in the sides, and it has really good sloped in the front also with that 200 millimeters. But yeah, re you have to remember that that is just the hull. The turret has no armor whatsoever. I mean, 20, 10, 8. That's the hull armor of. Uh, the tier 8 was it? Uh, was it? Tier 8. But yeah, standard shell damage that's the 128 millimeters and it has say let's say 600 and uh, that's higher than the AMX 50B and uh, let's yeah and this one has 6 shells with 600 horse uh, hit points yeah, five six hundred horsepower, and it uh, reloads per uh, per two seconds. It can fire per two seconds, so yeah, that's quite the damage in a very l little time. And the one hundred fifty millimeters has four shells, uh, but it's three seconds or so, and it does like nine eight nine hundred maybe thousand uh, hit points. No, not thousand. A little bit OP. 900, I believe it is. 800 to 900, something like that. Yeah, auto loader or drum loader. Kick ass! If the enemies don't face or shooting at you, just <laughs> rape them. As first as it, the first shot you get in the tank, enemy, you are going to rape them so hard. I mean, they before they even have got the gun at you, you will have fired the second shot. Then you're up in like 12 to 1600 damage HP, and many tanks are dead by then. <laughs> so you can tank tank one shot and uh, kill them. So you take one shot and they take three. And when they are reloading, also one, uh, you can shoot two, three probably. I don't know, 2, 4, 6, 8, you can shoot 4 shots before they reload 1, <laughs> like many tanks. Yeah, rate of fire, yeah, it's a little bit slower than the AMX, but it does more damage. Higher penetration, really, really high penetration. Uh, view range, best for the Germans, but signal range, yeah, it got beaten by the b both the French and Americans. But yeah, at 720 meters, it doesn't matter. If you have like over that, because yeah, yeah, you you will notice it anyway. M many people have relay and something that that makes you be able to uh, see what they see. Now I can tell you one thing. There's a new gun with the best accuracy in the game. 0.29. I believe that the uh, E100. No, I'm gonna say, oh, I say E50 and E50M had 0.3. And uh, but now we have a new hero in town. It's the Waffenträger of E100. It has 0.29, and an incredible aiming time of one and a half seconds. So you have full aim when you have the shell ready and reloaded. If you're aiming at someone, so you never need any v enhanced gun lane drive. <laughs> I'm going for super heavy spotliner to protection to crew for uh, it's so. Yeah, it's so paper thin. Uh, washers and toolbox. 
beautiful. Yeah, you. It's. I mean, look at those tracks. So easy to get tracks once once you have used one uh, small repair kit or something like that. You uh, that you need a toolkit to get working. And after you research all the first perks, get the crew to s either repair or camo. Because you never know. It depends a lot of how play ta a tank. I mean, many pl can play an incredible aggressive tank. The best way in defense style, uh, you can just lay back behind a, b a rock and just have the gun pointing over it or a corpse of a tank and just guard uh, one side all alone because you will fire six shots in 12 seconds and the enemy will just fire one shot then they will first have to probably stop aim at you aim boom fire one shot then after those maybe two seconds of stop and aim you, uh, they will have to reload for seven to nine seconds maybe and then you will have already killed them and tracked every one of them so yeah it depends how you play the game like Freddie Mercury say play the game yeah, new TDs. Uh, just a quick through of all of them. Really, I can say <laughs> that just looks so. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, <laughs> new TDs uh, comes with uh, great opportunities to learn to play the TDs in new way because before you, I, w I was used to play the TDs. Uh, that I rely on my armor very much, but now I can't do that because none of them have any armor except the Waffentrager. But yeah, still, everyone will penetrate you. I mean, 200 millimeters that's nothing. I mean, the Nas one average, pen average penetration 203 <laughs> is a tier 7, tier 6 TD with a tier 8 gun, it will penetrate the Waffentrager. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> A whole new way to play with the tanks, and uh, a whole new way to kill the enemies. But yeah, to uh, the test server is still up, so uh, if you haven't downloaded and try out new tanks before you uh, are going for them in the main server or something like that, maybe you don't like them at all and will never get them. But yeah, download the test server, and try it out, test the new tanks, and uh, say what you f uh, feel about and uh, about them and. Uh, if you have any comments, just comment in the section below and I will uh, reply if I can. And uh, maybe you and or I will learn something new. But yeah, new TDs and, uh, new, and a new ba map also. Um, uh, it's northwest and northwest, something that's called it's a mine station in America, of to, to like Alaska, Nevada, something like that. North and North Northwest, <laughs> Mon Montana, and something like that up up to the northwest. But yeah, new tanks. Try them out and say what you feel. Uh, think about them. But yeah, till next time. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the army today. And who knows when we'll see each other next time. But yeah, till then. Take care, everyone. Now, bye bye then.